Good morning guys, today is November 25th, Friday and I am recording the video for uh, November 23, Wednesday, okay. So uh, that was also FOMC day, right. So and then we have a holiday which is Thursday and Friday, you know, long weekend. So really there is nothing uh, in terms of trade wise, you know, like there is no directional trade that you are going to trade today. You just go with the intraday flow and try to find a direction in uh, in a smallest time frame and get a few points and you are done with it. You know that's the idea. So uh, yesterday's up move was surprise, which is November twenty second before FMC. And now keep in mind, regardless of FMC outcome, right? So I'm saying after FMC minutes released or before any news or anything else right shorts are risky above 595 in q and 3960 in yes right so here i'm clearly telling you not to short below this above this area right regardless of this outcome right now if it goes below then yes it is not risky okay so that's the bigger statement to keep in mind correct and then i'm walking you through the scenarios for the shorts even though if someone wants to short it look for this criteria basically you know and then I'm also here saying be extra cautious in trading today, trusting, not trusting any move unless there is a confluence or more evidence, right? Not trusting actually. Here is the word is a not trusting, okay? Any move unless there is a confluence or more evidence intraday for both sides before FOMC and after FOMC, right? So even during FOMC, after FOMC, before you need to do more evidence, see more evidence, you know? in order for that to trust that move you know? otherwise just get the few points and you are done right and here also the idea is regardless of anything general to keep in mind that any strong up or down move is not sustainable today right so if you see price going up and up and up or down and down and down it is going to reverse it is not going to be sustainable right 766 746 are dream numbers right and dream numbers are powerful which is this case 766 and 746 this dotted lines look at the of the open the morning low was 766 right here at dream number right so if you look at it here first time it held it here second time before open it poked through it but again bounced back up trying to hold up with it right and then it tried to hold below this trip number correct? and then before open it was pink pounding between two this trim number now you know at least by looking at this picture there is a failed breakdown here of trim number right here also trim number held it here also held it right now you know that of the open if price breaks below this it will go easily to this blue line if it breaks above this it will easily go to the blue back side and probably 818 and 840 you know so that's the view right and then now we have to add, uh, put more evidence to it right so here the first evidence was bounce from dream number again of the open right then i then i said in discord at that time that we need to see five minute candle close above this 766 to give us some clue you know more clue at the same time in es i said we need to see a close above 4012 you know in five minute right that the second clue we get from the ES because 4002 was our level which is this right it held it in the pre-market you can see it to the T so that was the sign the moment it held it to the T and price did, in, did not revisit at that area and of the of the open you see this bounce coming off from this 4006 line right it then slides through this it is all telling you that hey price wants to go higher do a little bit follow up for this previous days used this up move right <clears throat> and at the same time the third clue came when price open here right it was a bearish disconnect slight bearish disconnect not a strong one right and then despite that small bearish disconnect right you can see there was an open drive in ad also right price slides through this like all the way up otherwise it should have gone down right so hold on guys so uh, sorry, I got a phone call as usual, right? Either it's a morning or evening, I always get a phone call. So, so that was a third clue, you know, bearish disconnect did not hold, right? So remember, we are not shorting here, right? So we don't care 
where there is a various disconnect and short will come right we are looking for longs here right above those levels 595 and 3960 right so various disconnect fail that was a third clue right then all you have to do is what so you can go long right here with the flow right but it's a little bit risky correct so you wait for a price for a pullback you know into this area somewhere around this area right so when price went higher like this see here this was a backup seller's area correct and above this area 4050 could be the target which is this area correct and then intraday also i said 37 could be the max for the day when price was here right so when price went here right it could get a rejection from here possible right but it was around what time it was 940 940 was nq look at nq above this globex high right and remember we discussed this thing in discord that 793 is a poor high right in pre-market and then most likely it may either it will go to this blue line or this area so when price west lies through this five minute in 766 most likely target it will go here and most likely slice through it because it's a poor high if that is the case right then nq is most likely go towards 8840 or 880 correct uh, so at least we know now we have to go long in nq right the question is where do we go long correct so that that will line up with es at that time right or you can go with this pullback which is 785 or 89 this is where i took the long right why uh, so we discuss i think some of you also got the long there you know so so the question is if this was a poor high right and price took out these things right and then it pulled back this blue line is important you know because now it's trying to establish a stair step up better right so so the moment it took out right and then it came down here you have to read it that now here there will be some shorts coming in you know because they will think is a failed breakout of this high but it's a good thinking but only if this was a valid level right so the level was not there at that time right so i drew a line later on so this was not a valid level it was a poor high that's why it's taken out so that is more important then looking at taken out and pinged and price coming down again and thinking about it's a failed breakup right remember i didn't say today that look for failed breakup right so we are looking for loss this is a first thrust up right so story so far is pointing to the upside correct so the moment it came down i know the shorts will come here we discuss it right but the question is are they shorts are poor shorts or it's a trapping mechanism for them right and that was the case that's why we go long here and see whether it goes up right and if the moment it takes out this area again you know that was your another long you can take it if you don't want to take a chance here which is like this see here this low and you can see it here right around this high see that so once you see this bar going higher again that's where you take a long right there you can target this or this and you're done for the day right that's it so here also you can do the same thing right which is this say this long uh, hold on so let me zoom in a little bit see here like this at the same time when you take an queue at 789 which is here you can take a long here right or yes you can't take a breakout like this see in nq we took this right but yes you can't do it here no so yes you have to wait for a pullback so and then here when price took out this area i said pullback area would be this in es and in q i said this area right i think in this code i said that so but then after that i was done trading here you know i took the profit here and i was done like this so i didn't even bother to look at this you know but this but i typed it in this code around this time that look for a pullback here right so let me show you <coughs> so see here well, this was around what time it was 9 59 right right before the pmi news 12 15 this are the areas right 7 66 83 right which was this area 83 
and I tapped it at 959 which was around this before this news spike right so so I said 783 810 right so which is 810 was right around here see so price even poked below it and went towards 783 right but it couldn't get to 83 right and it didn't even close below 810 right so the moment you see this coming down like this in the next time and ES 12 to 15 which is this area 15 was this right? it came close to it so this was the long year to grab it why because it was a confluence area right and broken backup sellers turn into support idea and price came down straight from here right and then here I said 37 and 4050 could be the max and Q 900 area right that's what we discussed so there is a potential right and at that time when price came down there was no sign here see that even price came down like this ad barely moved here right so there was no sign that it wants to tank at least it wants to go further up to this area not this no? because it started like this way correct and so that's why you go along here with the confluence right and then you target this 37 and then you are done you know and you you are you can target 900 you know, this area and you are done or you can take few points as usual right and then be done with it for the day you don't have to trade the entire day right and once the max reached here right you have to realize that max point is reached already one of them right there were two max point so once it reached there price may go down you know how far i don't know but it may go down if there is a balance and breakdown right which is this was the case see so this was a trap situation right for those people who doesn't know what is the max potential right they will think it will go to 4050 now right from here right after this balancing so here they will take a breakout like this see this little breakout point right like this right and now they will go towards the moon or maybe here they will try right but not realizing the max is reached already one of them and it could stay there you know so now here on the way down all those guys whoever bought it break out pull back all these pullbacks they are gone they are all trapped now okay? so when price went down here they will start shorting here see this is how the typical day trader does you know they will get trapped both sides so here they got trapped going long right not knowing this max is in and then here you know, after this breakdown they try longs here pullbacks here pullbacks here all failed right now they will think okay so it's here now it's gonna go down at least up to here or lower right so they will start start sorting right here aggressively but then again they will get build uh, stopped up some of them even conservative guys they will try to start to short here which worked out in their favor right now they will target either this or lower most likely lower right but if some of the smart folks will take a profit here makes sense here you have to take a profit right and then when price bounce back up here they will again start shorting it why because now they will think okay it is going down momentum is to the downside right everything is pointing down now right so they will start shorting here that's why you see the boss again take them out here again somebody will short it right and then they were happy when they see this during fomc good right but then look at this see so FOMC, I said I'm not going to trade it today, right? So that is what I stick with it. You know, I did not trade it FOMC because, uh, hold on, so what time was it there? See here, uh, what time it was? I will not trade FOMC today. See, this is before two o'clock, right? So I did not trade at FOMC today, you know, on Wednesday, because I know there is no directional left for the day, okay? no directional trade or direction left for the day, and that be all for Wednesday, right? So Thursday we have a holiday. So now I'll see you on Monday.